hello my beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel and today i'm gonna teach you how to make this statement necklace yeah so let's make it together to start you're gonna need six millimeter beads as well as 10 millimeter bead so i'm gonna refer them to small and big one and then i have my lighter my needle my string unfortunately i don't remember the size of, of my string right now but i'll put um, i'll put it on the description box so i've already put my string on my needle and to start i'm going to put two big beads and i'm going to start by doing so because i'm going to use one of the beads to create a knot and i'm going to create a knot uh, through uh, by using a bead is because that um, the string uh, is very small so even if i get to create a, a knot uh, without using a bead uh, the what i'm creating all the beads i'm going to use they can pass through that knot so that's going to act as a stopping point for me so from there i'm going to add one small bead and then one big and then one small one big one small one big one small one big one two three four um four uh by means one big and one small and then i'm gonna put one small one big and then two small and then i'm going to add one big and then i'm gonna add three small I'm going to add one big I'm gonna add again three small one big four small Four. I'm gonna add one big five small one big six small one big I'm gonna add one big and one small 
and I'm going to pass through the last big bead, the ten mil, the last ten millimeter bead. After that, I'm going to add six small. One big. And then I'm going to add five small. And then I'm going to, I'm going to pass through the third bead on the other side. That's the middle bead. This one, the third one. And then we're going to pass through that one. After passing through that one, you're going to add, you, you just look on the other side to make it easy for you. You're going to look, we have to put only four small and three small. So you're going to put uh, four small, one big, three small. one big and then three gonna pass through the third bead from the last one you pass through gonna look like that from there, you look on the other side, you add th uh, three small, one big and two small. Three small, one big, two small. You pass through the third bead as well. make sure you pull your string very tight so especially when you're working on this necklace make sure it's very tight after that you add one small one big and one small you pass on the third one You add again one small, one big, and one small. And then you're passing on the third. Apart from the one we have used to create a knot, a knot, so only the one after that. And then after that, you can see the outcome. It's going to look like this. And then now you're going to add two small beads, size uh, six, two of them. You're gonna add one 10 millimeter and one six millimeter. And then you pass through the 10 millimeter bead, the big one that's follow, this one.
make sure you put your string very tight especially when you turn and then from there you're going to add once more one big once more you just look on the other side and you're gonna force instruction if it's gonna tell you to put two you just put two if you tell it to put three beads you just put three beads and that is how you can make your necklace and make sure you don't increase or decrease the beads especially the small one we are supposed to put three make sure you put three beads when you're supposed to put six make sure you put six yes you pass on the big one you put three small beads you put a big one and you put three again and then you pass on the what the third big bit and then from there you're just gonna keep doing the same thing until you actually finish finish making the necklace you just look on the other side and you count how many beads you have to, to put and then you, you do that. So now you have to put four, four, small one. You put four, small one. You put the one big and then you put five. I'm going to pass on the third without follow and from there you're going to add you put six one big and one small One big, one small. And you're gonna pass through the last big one. I'm gonna put six, just follow the instruction on the other side, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna add one big and then five small. You're going to pass through the bead that's followed, the big one, the third big bead. Look on the other side, we have to put four, so you put four. And then you put one and then three, one and then three bits. Now pass through the third bit, the big one. I'm gonna put three, one big and two small. Then from there, you're gonna pass through the third bead, the big one. You 
if it's one small, one big, one small. You're passing, gonna pass through the third big one. From there, you're gonna add one small, one big, one small. And then you're gonna pass through the last big bead from there gonna add two small one big and one small gonna pass through the last or the first big bead Gonna add one small, one big, one small. Then gonna add one small, one big, two small. Now we're gonna add three small, one big, four small. I mean three, three, three again small. One big, and then three small. Now we're gonna add four small, one big, and five small. gonna pass through the last big bead and then gonna put six one big and one small You're going to pass through the last big bead. And then I'm gonna put six. We're just gonna do the same process until we finish making our necklace. And normally you're just gonna keep looking on the other side as I've already told you. Uh, things to be careful with is to make sure you don't increase or decrease a bit so now my string ended and i'm trying to add a new one so i'm just gonna put some on my needle uh, and then i'm gonna connect the ends and then i'm going to connect my end with the remaining one And then I'm going to close.
you connect the ends and then you try to close them together After that, you cut the remaining. And then you burn, you burn the remaining. So from there, you're going to continue with your work. You look on the other side, and then you're going to keep doing it. As I was saying, um, you have to be careful not to increase or decrease the small beads. If you're required to put three, make sure you put three. If you're required to put four, make sure you put four. And if at any chance you have, um, you have increased or decreased, it's best for you to go back and add so they can all look the same. You can see how it look since I've been putting three, three, um, four, four, five, five, and six, six. That's why um, I'm telling you to make sure you don't increase or decrease a bit. Make sure if you're required to put three, you put three. If you're required to put four, you put four. If the other side is showing to put five, put five. And um. You can actually you can write down the pattern uh, when you are coming down how many beads you have to put a small one and the big one uh, as well as when you are like going up but for me I feel like uh, looking on the other side um, to tell you how many beads you have to put that is the easiest way to make this necklace and for someone for uh, this is can be like um, a beginner friendly way to make this necklace instead of me writing down a pattern for you because a pattern it's a bit uh, complicated and it's gonna take much of your time because uh, every time you're gonna have to look on the pattern before you put some bits but for this one it's easy uh, it's it's, uh, it's um, friendly for a beginner to be able to make this necklace and the process are the same since after you have created the same line uh, you ju just gonna keep doing the same thing and doing the same process until you created the length which fits on your neck or maybe um, on your client's neck and then from there you can 
you can put the ending of the necklace and you're done so yeah so the problem for me when it comes to making this necklace was a six millimeter beads they had a very small holes and some of the beads i had to like put them away because my needle could not pass through them so i believe if you can maybe you can also face the same problem but for you to avoid it maybe you can use eight um eight millimeter beads and you combine them with 12 millimeter bits but for me i think um using six millimeter bits and 10 millimeter bits is a one of the very best combination uh to use to make this uh, necklace yes so you may also ask yourself why i have path through like i have put a two strings on my needle i think um to make my necklace uh, tight and also very strong because if my string if i won't pass or uh, i won't put uh, like two string in my needle the necks are gonna won't be that tight and it won't have the same quality like someone can just pull it and it can break but i want something that can last long and and someone can keep it and enjoy it for a very long time so you can also even add uh, th three strings in your needle when you're making your necklace um even four but for me i uh, i felt like uh, two was enough and my necklace was uh, strong and tight the way i wanted so it just depends on how you want your necklace to be and yeah so to remind you again the pattern are the same is it the pattern i don't know you just look on the other side and you like you have to to look on the other side to count how many bits you have to put especially when it comes to the small one because the small one you have to count make sure you count um if you're going to you're supposed to put six put six if, if it's five put five because the big one it just you only have to put one so this is not really that uh, stressful and you can also increase the necklace and not really end at six uh, but i think that it's uh, something that i have to create a pattern for you to be able to know uh, how you can increase and not really end at six and you can add more uh, when, I, when i'm talking about adding more i mean adding more rounds yes to make your necklace big.
So, so far, I have created some rounds. So let's see, it's look like this. This, this is still not enough, so I need to add more rounds. So I've created the length that I wanted for my necklace and to finish you're gonna need a ribbon unfortunately I didn't know how like uh, the white one so I had to use a black one to show you how to put the end in you're just gonna attach the, the ribbon but you have to burn the ending of it first so I had uh, four of them uh, I'm gonna put two on each side this one look rough so you're gonna cut it and then you burn it so I'm gonna add two one from the beginning and one from the uh, fourth round so I'm going to make sure you put your string tight for the white ribbon it's gonna look very nice but for me because i'm using black that's why it does not look that good but this is only to show you how you can put the ribbon and not really that is what i did for my clients You burn the end of the string and then you're gonna put the ribbon on the fourth round and then you're gonna do it and you're gonna do that on the other side as well and this is the outcome of my necklace